Welcome to Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, Guy, who's thankful you didn't ask any follow-up questions about that thing I lied I said I knew about when I was trying to look cool. Our top story tonight, this week the Trans-Pacific Partnership. That thing you suspected might be important, but couldn't care less about because all your most annoying Facebook friends kept trying to shove it down your throat, was signed. Meaning we can all stop trying to figure out how exactly it will affect us. Kind of like uh, when that weird rash goes away and you're like, oh, was that something I should be concerned about? Uh, except, you know, with uh, with people's lives. And about an equal amount of having been f- In flipperier news, California has banned captive breeding in all of its SeaWorld establishments. So, great. Tiny pools for these big, beautiful creatures, and now they're not allowed sex. What's next? No casual Fridays? Ugh, I have one of those clogged ear bubbles right now. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't last in the third world. Moving on, this week the creator of 5-Hour Energy stated he had $4 billion more than needed and wanted to be a philanthropist with it. Unaware, the entire premise of his concentrated insomnia poison was for helping those that had royally fucked up and were in dire need of his heart-murmurizing coffee shots. Yep. Turns out he had the philanthropy in him all along. On Thursday, Oregon reported its first week of recreational pot sales, topped $11 million. In related news, former weed dealers begrudgingly got their first real jobs, where they get to see all their former customers more frequently. Still nothing. On Saturday, former Shutter Shade revivalist Kanye West playfully auditioned for American Idol, proving that American Idol is apparently still on the air. This week, Twitter's new CEO claimed he would be enacting huge layoffs across all departments. For more on that, we turn to our senior social media correspondent, Luis Sanchez. Luis? Hey, great to be here. Uh, so, Luis... What's your take on the CEO's decision? Well, he's now running a 140 character company and he has 280 characters. So it's his job to get rid of those unnecessary. Oh, you'll run out of characters there. Man, those are people's lives. Hashtag ignorant bitch shit. Uh, so you think these layoffs are going to be a trend? Trend? Come no, on. No, 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 no. I didn't mean it that way. Sure, you did. I'm sorry. Favorites, retweet. Ugh, last time I buy off-brand. Are these supposed to be Q-tips or mini bayonets? In justice or news, BP was fined a record $20.8 billion for their Deepwater Horizon spill, proving that when oil-covered ducklings are involved, no one's too big to fail. Uh, wait, what are you doing? Don't waste a good coffee. You should be using the freeze-dried crap. Yeah. Ugh. You think Obama ever gets ear bubbles? Like, Michelle. Michelle, please tell me you have gum. Oh, that's what I haven't tried. This week, Ebola countries, for the first time, recorded no new cases. Which, as we all know, means Ebola, less viral than the Nene. Well, dignity was nice while it lasted. I'm pretty sure I had gum on me. Ah! Ha <laughs> oh, ha! Didn't seem intense. Might as well chew on a bleached pine cone. In painfully predictable news, the $150 million film Pan, starring Hot Topic Hugh Jackman, opened to a dismal $15 million flop, causing so many social media it was panned puns by critics of the film's unoriginal nature that the words pan, irony, and comedy have lost enough meaning to start naming unidentifiable floaters that wash up in the harbor with them. Hold on, just checking my smugness app, and yep, apparently I'm being a dick right now. And that's it for your Apathetic Weekend update. Uh, if you're thankful this video is over or that it was made, Please like, comment below, share, maybe even subscribe. Uh, yeah, I've been your host, guy who really needs to cut his stupid dopey hair. 
Good night. By the way, the Smugness app is just anytime your phone's in selfie mode. Yeah. Yeah.